for that camera. I have. I've had to go back onto this one because I don't have time to work out how to get all the other bits and Nick is working. Damn it. Oh, well, and now I'm... I want my computer. Oh, it's okay. Did I give it to you? Oh no, it's there on the table that I stole. Oh, there we are. I knew I had it. <laughs> also picked up a letter I dropped. Are we on yet? We are on. Are we on? I don't want oh, I haven't even got the book. <laughs> she left. I'm back. You're back. I have no idea what oh, I'm doing God. today. Do you know? I went to Meredith this morning. Did you really? I did. I did. All by myself as well. Well, I took Annie with me. And I went to Meredith this morning and... Corey, Pam and I were having a chit chat outside, as we do, making sure that all the animals are behaving. And uh, and and we all got on very well, so we, we were just chatting, chatting, chatting. And then I was like, I'm so cold. You know, I never get cold. True. Right. So cold. I came back home, I went down to see Harley and the goat, and I thought, right, excellent. I'll get set about my day. I was so cold, I went to bed to warm up. It took really? me two and a half hours really? to get the heat back in my fingers. Isn't that odd? That's very odd. I'm hoping this, this lasts <laughs> until summer because I, I absolutely... Uh, You're on some new pill, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I absolutely melt in the summer. <laughs> I'm like, this could, this could actually That's not go... Bad. No, yeah. this could be an improvement to things. Well, you can always eat a hot water bottle. I said to Nick, I think we're going to have to go and fight. We've got a heated blanket. I said... He said it's coming into spring, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I've had it. Absolutely. It was the uh, most peculiar thing. Yes, and and Janine would giggle because you can't see me. Well, I can't see anything for the sweat around my eyes in the summer, you know. And I've got, I've got uh, hay sticking to my face, shaving sticking to, <laughs> sticking to my face, and I was like, this is just odd. Odd, odd, odd. So I've given uh, up. We need to send this out. And work out why Kate will not this. <laughs> we had one of our things back uh, for Don Henderson. I have no idea where it came back, so we'll have to work it out. I'll leave that for Judy. Doesn't even look like it's been sent. Apart from oh, the fact they said return to sender. No, don't know why. I wonder if it was just misdelivered. We'll maybe need to check with Don and make sure we're being okay. And I haven't sorted this nonsense out. Well, I, 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 but we can do it with the coloured ones. Okay. That's Janine. Put that down for Janine. That should be a good one. That's Nick. What is it? Nick. Registered oh. motor vehicles. I'm going to get rid of all this rubbish. Well, that's very exciting. What's very exciting? That's a recall. Safety safety oh. airbag recall for a car we had four years ago. Okay. <laughs> glad, they're, glad they're keeping us up to date. Disabled parking thing. Oh, yeah. you haven't got a picture in yours, Isn't that though. wonderful? Here, I thought they were going to chase me for having done something wrong. Oh, still time. Do you okay. want to keep the Northern Tool and Equipment catalog? Do you want to go to? We fancy that? My yeah, mind, you never know. No one never does. Or Northern know. Tool. Oh, well. I know Northern Tool. Oh, great. Oh, utilities. You know what these are for now? They're for hanging on the ends of these things so dogs don't run into them. Oh, that's handy. See how that goes right on there? I'll see if I can find a few more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. It's just the utilities. Utilities, utilities. Uh, I'll get aren't, aren't we getting another from Merrimack? Or we got it, I guess. What were we getting from Merrimack? Memsic. Yeah, we are, but I don't know where it is. It's not there. It didn't come in Friday, did it? Uh, we've deposited something today. Oh, hold on. Maybe we got it. I think you maybe got it because I deposited one as well. Oh, hold on. Look at this. It should show out there on the big end. Yes, there it is. There, five thousand seven hundred and thirty-seven dollars like fifty. Yep. So there's that. Okay. Labor Compliance and Assistance Board. 
What dates are we on? I don't know if they will. Put it, I'll put that over there. 18. Is it the 18? No, you probably have to put up some sign that explains to people that they're supposed to do things. I need to document notice. A compliance notice. Your business is required by law to post a certain compliance labor law poster in the workplace. Federal law requires it to post to be placed in bet that bet that bet that. They want one hundred and thirty dollars from. I've I've had these before. They're all all the um, huh? things are down there. Yeah. Well, it's also our bunch read it online. I don't think that counts. No. We yeah. had the whole bat of cellar door over there was full once. Better not be now. <laughs> At any rate, but so the funny thing is, I don't think we spend one hundred and thirty dollars on it. No, and the other thing is, um, is that not just if you've got employees? What this? Is that not if you've got employees? Well, we have employees. No. Are oh, we going to have employees, Judy? Yeah, but Judy, Judy does stuff in the home for you. Well, she also works. No, she so you pay her, and then not all of it. Not I know, but she gets. Small amount for going to the what you call it, um, but I don't know if that counts. We'll have to double check that. I know we've got these notices. I think if you're supposed to have it, I think they give you one. Oh, Somehow. I think we've actually got some left over. Somehow I have never paid for those. I'm going to throw it out. No, we'll give it to Judy. Oh dear. <laughs> Just in case it's a new thing, we need to um, we need to pay for. Uh, Lou worries me about what you just said, but we'll worry about that later on. Okay, so we go on here. Just remind me to come back to it. Oh, what are we going to let So you see, now this is a wee bit tricky. Did service dog come under Crazy Acres Farm? Uh, I don't know. Here's a dollar. Oh, is it Jan Gerhold? Thank you, Jan. Is it Jan? Yes, it is. I'm not lazy. I'm just very relaxed. Nothing wrong with that. For the best in the horse, you'll have to move the dog. House. Oh. For the best in the house, you'll have to move the dog. Yes. Okay. Who says nothing is impossible? I've been doing nothing for years. <laughs> All right. It's getting to the, the perfection level, though, that's important. Uh. Is that Jan? What? Is that Jan as well? Yeah. All right. This is the first of the time the dogs have been out in that bigger area in quite a while. And are they enjoying it? They're either that or they're gone. What the two? No, they're right there. Are they, right, are they want to come in? Oh, no, he's, he's, yeah. huh? he can come, come in in a minute. I've got stuff in the floor. He's oh. like... Oh, well, here's another dog. Thank you before. very much, Jan. Cell phones these days are getting thinner and smarter. People the opposite. <laughs> that's, that's all right. There's something in that, actually. Oops. What do you mean my birth certificate expired? <laughs> <laughs> Newspaper ad, parachute for sale. Used ones, never opened. <laughs> well, that's even worse. That's worse, right. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. Much appreciated. And then we're getting down to the utilities department. Indeed. I'll put that one in there. Then this has a W on it, so it must be the water bill, right? Mm. That's upside down. Right, okay. We did. did it look any better upside there down? There we are. $415. Did they make it go the right direction yet? No, it's still going up. Two, three. This current is over here. Mm. Yeah. Yep. They haven't. 
We haven't reduced it a lot with the fewer dogs. Okay, that has to go down. Yeah, I'll sort that out. I just actually leave them in the the mail hut and send a text. Oh, whatever. Because I wouldn't like them to be missing. I just made the suggestion of one person that they park in the pit for a week. Who was that? Mike. I'm oh. getting bored out of here. Yes. I have asked him many times to blow up. See if that works. Yes. See if he does it for later. Oh. All right, here we go with the did, electric Can drill. I just ask, did you chase him down the drive to tell him that? <laughs> this is what I want to know. How did you catch him? <laughs> His girlfriend caught him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's, here's mine for $134.13. Right, I'll stop you with showing off. And this one is for the barn, which is $1,234.12. Look at the... Why does it go up that high? Why is it so far up? And that's mine, because I've just paid one of them. Might have not have registered yet, though. Oh, well, this has got a previous balance. That's why it's so high. Yeah, I know, but I just paid it. What's the date of that okay, one? Okay, so, so now you have eleven thirty-five. Which has actually gone down, <laughs> believe it or not. It is down a little. Yeah, about three hundred dollars. Because I'll one thousand four hundred and something. Yeah. Do you want the right. envelope to go with it? I'd love the envelope. How do you to identify your pipes? No, I don't want to know anything about pipes. <laughs> pipes are not my friends. I might want to look at that. Oh, you can look at that. Oh my golly! What did I put next stuff? Oh, I might want to look at that and play with that. Is that Nick? That's Janine. That's Janine. That. That That's right Nick. I've got a whole array of stuff. So, will you pop that I in the trash? Huh? Will you pop that in the trash, please? Where am I putting it? In the trash. In the car? Trash. Trash. Bin. Bin. Box. Find your pipes. I want to look at my pipes. Oh, you look at your Oh. I know this letter came through from the UK. And it's um, it's it's from Wendy and Jane, and they are in Whistable in Kent. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was actually in Whistable just before I, I I came here because my son, this is a bit bizarre. My my um my brother lives in and lovely sister-in-law and niece and nephew. They live in Seven Oaks in Kent, and um and Nick always, you know, Nick worked in London and we lived in Scotland, so we decided that after sort of like 10 odd years, this was a bit too much. And we would all maybe live in the same house every now and again. Oh. Yeah, I know, Difference, differences, but hey. So uh, so my, my one of my children applied to the Skinner School, which is why we were down, we stayed in Seven Oaks, he interviewed at the Skinner School, and we were down for a week, and we ended up in Whistable, which was absolutely lovely. So, and this, oh, this comes from Whistable. Well, I'm delighted. Mm. No dogs, you can't come in. And you know, they phoned us to offer him a space at that school. They what? They phoned us, he got a space at that school. Uh -huh. He was accepted because you had to do an interview. And uh, and I said, I'm so terribly sorry. I said, I can't, I, I, I've actually, yesterday was offered a job, well, I wasn't, offered a job in the UK. And he said, are you sure? And I went, Nick, are we sure? And he was like, yes. <laughs> uh, oh dear! There you go. Thank We're looking inside it. Oh, I smell cake. Yes. And well, I hope it's a Marks and Spencer, Marks and Spencer's car caterpillar cake. Oh look! Hi Elizabeth. Oh, there you go. You want to read it? There you go. Thank you. We think you deserve a coffee, so have one on us. Really appreciate all that you do at Goldie's Farm and entertaining us at Mail Chat. Best wishes from Wendy and Jane over the pond. Thank you very much. Hey, we can go and get a, a um, puppuccino for you again. <laughs> You're on a winner. Thank you very much. And look, it says, it's like Wanda. <laughs> I smell cake. <laughs> Thank you. That's much appreciated. And... Um, 
Is that us? Oh. I I, we're on to the next bit. We're on to the next bit. Right. There we are. I'll take that bit. Oh. Around here. Now, here we go. That's, that should be a pull tab. A pull tab? Down there. Allegedly. Pull to open. Push the tab. Yes. <laughs> okay. Have that. Oh, oh I know you. what these are. These are what your husband just gave me. So it's already lost. Um, laser pointers. <laughs> I got one for Carly and one for me, and then he came along and gave me one besides. So. Well, he also kept one in the house and has been tormenting the puppy with it. Oh, there it is, right there. Is that what Next that the is? Camera. Oh, that I think might be the one he had in the house. That's he, right. He probably well, set these over there with it. them with it. Yeah, he was having super fun. Then the puppy lost interest. But the he puppy was, liked it? No, it was interesting for a wee while, and then she's like, don't be so ridiculous. And he was like, come on! And then, then she gave up. Yeah, you can get cats going pretty well with it. Though. Yeah, well. Nick was thoroughly excited. Oh, oh look! So, listen. This has got my name on it. It's got python powder on it. Who? Python powder. This is very exciting, actually. Python powder? Yeah, I'm into snakes now. Come off it. <laughs> well, I thought... This is where you lose me. I'm like, how mundane taking chickens around? Why Why haven't we moved into snakes? <laughs> Dear me. I'm surprised you haven't Let me about. tell you some of my snake jobs. I have <laughs> snake jobs to talk about. <laughs> I don't know where that one went. That it went one. that way? Yeah. Um, I have snake jobs. You're going to have to pay attention for I will. when I talk about them because if you forget some of the details, it's really kind of just there. So with, after this box, I'll tell you a snake job. What the So this is actually very exciting. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know who sent this, so is there a label in it? What is it? Python dust. So it's a topical, and you put it on for animals that maybe they can have mites, they can have dermatitis issues. Um, it controls certain flies, lice, ticks, and pets. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I, uh, there's nothing else in this box then? I don't know, but I'd like to see who sent it. That was the only thing. Well, we have to go to the bottom to find out. Yeah, you just want to make a mess. You're making a very big mess. Right, next time you go in through the top, no messing. We haven't got to the bottom yet. It's a, it's a label. We're getting there. No label. It's not there yet. Huh. But we are oh, not maybe this time. There we go. Here we go. Oh. We got it. You want to do honor? Thank you. We'll put this down there and you can stuff it all back. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like it doesn't say. Python does. She's crazy. It doesn't My poor say. dog wants to come in. It doesn't say, does it? Well, I don't know who ordered this, but can I just say thank you so very much? Because this is what I've been looking for for that goat that's looking a bit scabby. It's really looking scabby. So if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't, yeah, I checked him today and he's actually responded to that really nicely. He's drying out. I'm going to put this away because Larky will eat it. Do you want that for a ball? Is it no. too big for a ball? Well, no. no. And then, um, give me a sec. Oh. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yes, work oh, out of that one. That was far quicker quicker than it took you to get it out. So this stuff here is going to work wonders with my goat. Oh, let me unplug it that way. Yeah, and it's a, it's actually started drying out a lot of the bits. We've got one goat that seems to get contact dermatitis. We've got absolutely no idea why he gets it. Um, I was going to move him over to Meredith, but I seem to remember he did this round about springtime in Meredith as well. Uh, the thing that we don't really like is when it starts bleeding. It's a bit like Carlene, you know, when the when you've got an open wound. 
So um, he's had this put on, the scabs seem to be drying up, he's got it all through his back, it's really bizarre. Uh, and the other goats are fine, so the other, whatever he's got is particular to him. Uh, if his if his scabs and everything keep uh, bleeding... Are you read the details of this here? Yeah, you can't use it on your leg. Honestly, I checked. Pesticide is extremely toxic. Mm -hmm. And um, and he, um, if we, we keep with the open cuts, we'll put him on to antibiotics to make sure that he doesn't get an infection. Wow. I'm looking for his contents. What the hell is it made out of? It's pyrethrins. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say anything about python. <laughs> I said he ground up python. Ground up here. python. You yeah. have to be cruel. Right, I'll go and listen, let me get this floor done. So whoever sent that, that is greatly appreciated. Hazards to humans yep. and domestic animals. Yep, definitely. Oh, Absorbed just... through the skin. Yep. Okay. So we'll, we'll not be inhaling it anytime soon. Well, it goes on here. Avoid contact with eyes, skin, or clothing. Wash thoroughly with soap and water after handling and before eating, drinking, chewing gum, using tobacco, or using the toilet. Wear long sleeve shirt and long pants, pockets, shoes, and other chemical resistant. This is day, this is bad news here. Yeah, well, it's even worse news if your goat loses its legs. Right, come on, Doris. Andrew, can you come? Right, up, up. Even though that's good boy. Fizzle. Yeah, but unfortunately, we have to go with it because what he's got needs to be treated. Ugh. And as long as we don't confuse it with cornstarch, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Although it might stop scratching. Have you tried this? No, I'm not going <laughs> to. Right, that one sounds dangerous. No. So thank you, whoever said this that. This one is from... Oh, Sam Keys. Keys. The hump keys. Thank you. Look okay, out. Here I come. Okay. Sizzle. Does this feel like a, a good one for you? Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'll Add take some more that. goat stuff. Thank you. So we have got apple snaps and... Let me just double check that all. Apple nuggets. Thank you. Yummy, yummy. If you're a, a goat or a horse. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Sorry, says. Look at her face. She's like, her apple snaps. I promise. That, nothing for dogs. No. Nothing for doggies. Nope, nothing there. She's like, either. I've been put on this diet thing. She's like, I am disappointed. Thank you very oh, much, you Sam. Know what I was going to do today? What? I was going to get in the cage for a mail call. Oh, you can do that tomorrow. That will be such a treat. It would do that. Do you want well, to because I have made the statement that I would never keep a dog where I myself would not take a nap. We can give you dinner in the cage. That'd be good. Oh, do you know what day it is? It's Monday. It is Monday, isn't it? Oh, I get this. Dinner's coming. So tell me about your, your snakes. Do you want to go up, Dad? I don't want your snake stuff. No, your snake stories. Oh, snake stories. Right, hold on. I get Sizzy up. Okay. Here. Back up. You back up, honestly. There we go. We're ready. Okay, this came from one of the big tech tech firms around here. They wanted to do a commercial for in-house where they can kind of get to the point of don't leave anybody on hold for too long on the phone. That was uh -huh. the pitch of the whole thing. So there's this guy at a desk, and he's got his little plants and things sitting around, and he's on the phone. Mm. And he's on the phone, and of course the plants begin to grow and things like that. And they wanted me to have a snake come up the telephone cord, right? So I'm down behind the desk with my snakes. I don't like snakes at all, but I will do anything for money. So <laughs> this is what I had putting my child through college. <laughs> That's not the funny part. So at any rate, he, the snake starts coming up his phone, and the guy, he can't say his lines because he's nervous with oh. the damn snake looking him in the eye. So the director says, well, just stare straight off in the distance and don't pay attention to the snake. 
Well, the snake starts out, you know, and then the snake's now getting tired, so the snake drooped <laughs> and got in the button of his fly. <laughs> so now we have a picture. They didn't. The director said, "Keep rolling." <laughs> we now have. This snake coming out of this guy's fly. <laughs> the telephone. Girl. That's one of them. Well, there you go. Don't work with snakes. Don't like the snake. No. Well, okay. we'll maybe just leave them behind for a while. Oh. Stick with chickens. That is, that's a funny one. It is. We have, we have, we have, we have some funny ones. <laughs> we have a hmm. pretty funny Jesus one with the fish. With the fish. Jesus handing out the fish. Oh. I'll tell you that one. Oh. That took place over there at Harold Parker Forest. Oh. At a nice little little pond over there. They the the pitch was for Jesus to stand on the water uh -huh. and hand the fish to stand there and hold the fish up, right? Uh -huh. So they got this guy in a white bathrobe and they had MIT guys all calculating exactly what the buoyancy and all, all right, that sort okay. of thing. And so you would you they were would getting walk. it all organized. And I was in the water with a crate full of fish. Mm -hmm. and I was going to hand the fish. You got to be live because they wanted it to flop. You know? Yeah. So I had a couple of fish in there and I'm down in the water. So everything gets all organized and he's standing there in his bathroom. Everything's doing fine and I hand him the, I hand him the fish. Hop. Oh, monkey. I hand him the fish and he very slowly starts to sink Ooh. because they didn't calculate the weight of the fish. <laughs> So we now have a picture of Jesus standing there slowly <laughs> going down the Oh, yes. Oh, oh. failure for MIT there. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. I did a lot of funny things. Yes, I think so. Says all, what are you doing? Wanda is not here, Roger. No. Obviously. No, she's not. Wanda is still closer to you than she is to us, I think. She's in a... She's still in Aiken. Yeah. Building stuff and painting and doing fences and all that sort of thing. Oh, Carla, you know where they were outside. I'll try and remember and do that. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, take, I'll take a picture or a video of where the dogs go outside. Oh. Oh, I, I think it's maybe feeding time with with uh, the dogs down the hill. Um, I think. Oh. No, no, Lark here says well, they weren't barking, although it could have been one of mine. Ah, oh. yes. And if we move this blinking camera, it does drop. So I'm not fiddling with the thing. It's lovely. It's working. He's very thirsty, isn't he? I I think you need to have your husband here to make it work. I do. Yeah. Yes. Properly. Yeah, we're using the phone today because it's me. And quite frankly, I think the way, remember I took photos of the step by step that I was to do when Nick did it, then it didn't work when there was no sound. So there's no point in me doing my step by step that I've got a record of. So. Where are you going? Go on, back in the bed. Get in the bed. In the bed. Did he get in the bed? Yeah. He's in bed. I'm actually disappointed nobody asks where Janine is. <laughs> Janine's with Wanda. <laughs> Tis fine. <laughs> oh, yes. And we did eat all the beef sliders. Thank you very much. We had a good time with the we sliders. We did have a good time. I like sliders. Yes. And you know, there was three different kinds. There was sliders with cheese, sliders with mayonnaise, sliders with barbecue sauce. Oh, was that right? Okay. That's why they were all different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we had two different kinds of chicken wings. I guess they were lovely. They were lovely. They were lovely. And they were roasting hot when they got here. Yeah. Bernie, Bernie finger and hot. Yeah. Oh. I checked the mailing label. I'm going to double check that. I'll put this down so it does not. What are we doing? The mailing label in this box, this Python thing. You see, it doesn't have, it just has me and Python dust on it. And there is not a name. You put on Python powder instead of your names. Yeah. 
Okay. Good luck for that one. Yeah, I've tried it though. That's the tray. I was not going to put anything on that tray. Why? Is it tipping? No, it's just, you know, it's just any any flat level space just accumulates stuff. Yeah, you said you were going to keep it clear. I said That's it was a lie. Do that. Look at it. It's absolutely covered with stuff. <laughs> Although, you know, I had the two bolts here. The, uh -huh. I had the two bolts here. The, the wheelbarrow's on the front porch out there. And next thing, he didn't said the he handle, the handle over. Where would he? The been? handle was over at your house for a while. Then the handle came back in. Yeah. So now I still had three locations, but now your husband found the handle and put it over here with the bolts. Oh, so, so now I only off. have to get that oh, stuff right. out to the front porch. <sighs> Listen, I think I think we'd we'd fail a time and motion study on production if anybody wanted wanted to follow us. <laughs> I got some stories on that one too, but I'll tell them later. <laughs> uh, no, this is actually. Uh, thank you for all your advice about this powder. It's it's actually a very standard issue uh, treatment. So the python dust. So um, treatment for where after you get sick from handling it. I don't have mites, ticks, or anything. I'm so sorry. I don't to think I do either. Oh no! Well, you've had just about everything injected into you anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh mommy. Oh. Yes, I've used diatom as well, but it's um yeah. Di I wish that, that that's that earth thing. Diatom is I just I call it diatom because I can't get the whole word out. It's diatomaceous earth. Right, I it, can't get it out. It's of like synthesizer, I can't say that either. Um, yes. We put that in the we Somehow put, that's less that's, damaging. It's not good for your, your lungs, though, either. Well, I don't intend to put it in my lung. We could put it in your leg. <laughs> that could be our, 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 our step up if, ah. we need, if we need it again. So, Jiminy, how is Jiminy? Have you spoken to... Doing beautifully. Yeah, that's what I'd heard as well. Doing beautifully. And... She called today. <laughs> she called today. She wanted to uh, get in touch with the vet. Mm -hmm. But it, we, you know, the one that put the stitches in. Yeah. So I said, Newburyport, get this call to that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that, 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 that. She wrote it all down very carefully, and Judy looked up the phone number and gave it to her. Uh -huh. And then, then we hung up. Judy says, You didn't go to Newburyport. No, you went to Bulger. It was <laughs> Bulger. So I had to call her back and say, Just a minute, let me try again. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you've been doing beautifully. He has. And he's been working really hard. Yeah. He's, yep. uh, he's, uh, so Jiminy is doing really well. Yeah, uh, that was a good move, I think. A super move for him. If just if just all these people who hate me already would get off the uh, internet bandwagon. I think the problem is anything positive you do, somebody somewhere can turn it into a negative. You're right. And I, I, I think what people have to realize is that we don't make the decisions based on us. Because I was in tears. It's not my dog. I didn't feel so good. No, either. and you weren't doing very well either. So, so we didn't do it. We didn't do it because it suited us. We did it because it really suited Jiminy. And um, yeah, can, he's having a good time. Now. Yeah, he is. He goes every morning for one of these whipped cream deals. I know. See, this is where you've gone wrong. That's right. I don't know why you're you're doing you're doing cans of food. You should be going puppuccino for you, puppuccino for you, <laughs> and then you can progress it to actually going to Starbucks and having them hang out the window and go, <laughs> no, <laughs> let's get names right. Um, I think the difficulty really is sometimes with dogs, and I think you would agree, once they've had a fight and it's not been a particularly pleasant fight, they remember that. Yeah, and yeah. getting that, that emotional response knocked out of them is you're pushing water up a hill. I've got two. I think probably one of the problems was there was no distinct winner. No. No. No, they, so they still won the battle it uh, out. Excuse me, I won. I had the tree branch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fred, you probably hit the dog. No, I went in between the... It was, it was the silliest tree branch. It had all the pine needles on the end. You know, it was like one of those swats that you use for flies, and I went in between the two heads. <laughs> And then I chased Larky up the hill with it, his backside. And I was like, 
Well, we'll now be traumatized. You do whatever you necessary to break up a dog fight. Do. You do, because they're not nice. Ugh. Um, so, so that's been the, the best thing for, for yeah. him. And he'll still be back and forward. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he will, which is lovely. So that's really nice. So he's it, doing it, well. It, I'm getting along better with these two. Yeah. Although, mm -hmm. this is a lesson in, in dog rearing. Um, Judy feeds them when she comes in in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we all get in the car and we go off to the hospital and I'm going in to get blood, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's looking around, where's Judy? How come she's not with us? He would not pay attention to me. <laughs> no, she's the one who fed it me. Fed him. He yeah. was, there's where my meal's coming from. I'm going to talk to her. Yeah. It really was quite pronounced. Yes. It's quite funny that though, isn't it? It was. It's a lesson. You want your dog to belong to you, then you feed it. Yes. Oh my God, does that mean I have donkeys? <laughs> A whole herd of them. <laughs> yeah, I think they're, they're not daft dogs. That's it. What did you do today? You went to the hospital this morning. What's this? You went to the, what did you do? I had to go for blood. Does that mean we've got things to pick up? There's who? Prescriptions to pick up. We did get something. Oh, you got something. We still have more tomorrow to pick up. Right, okay. It's another $31 a, a week. Is it? $31 a week for these shots. Because they took you off some of the medication for your your biopsy, didn't they? Yeah. And they put you back on it? No. No? <laughs> well, they haven't decided whether there is a treatment. All right, okay. I haven't heard the result of the... No. Well... Cytology or whatever. Yeah, it probably has to go in front of people that know what they're looking oh. for. Whatever. Yeah. Somebody ought to tell me what it is pretty soon. Yeah. So you can get back on that other medication. <laughs> <laughs> so what else did you do today? I don't know. Did you pick up lunch? I don't know. We didn't. We did nothing specific. I did, I did some accounting type stuff, which is no fun. No. And not worth even listening to. No. Or talking about yes. Or talking about no. that's why I do like to forget it. Yes. I argued with the computer for a while. So what else is due? Yes. Uh, so puppy updates. Puppy updates. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I never got through to it. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to say to this woman. Because I'm going to sound like an idiot. I'd like to have two puppies. Two now. Hang on a minute. Are we doing two? Well, two is easier to raise than one. Yeah. Okay. I would like to have two. Okay. But the the other things I did today was I considered what to do with where I'm going to keep them. And I'm not going to put them in the kennel at the moment. That means i got to redo this a little bit around here. What We're much smaller one? than those two. That's true. That's true. Well, and Judy brought up the idea, why don't we move those two down and put the puppies in the corner? Well, that might be better. Mm -hmm. Then that I'd only have to get a piece of linoleum this big. Yeah, for this big. <laughs> to cover yeah. the floor. And if anybody fusses about that, this whole rug has been soaked by Wanda. So don't give me any business about my puppies peeing on the carpet. It's already Wanda treated <laughs> by every spot. Which means here. probably anything coming in will go, oh, hang on, this is obviously the pee spot. That's uh, right. Here and here and here. Well, I tell you what, what made me notice it. Look at this board running down here next to the there's something that ran down there, water. Oh, uh, yeah. And I didn't spill anything. Right. That has to be pee coming out of the carpet and going that way. See, no more. So much for keeping everything sterile. Plus, urine is, urine is sterile anyway, though. Is 
Well, you can, well, allegedly, yeah, because it's been processed by all your bits. It's just the waste products coming yeah. out, which I don't think are poisonous. No. Yeah. People on people in the ocean have survived by drinking urine, haven't they? Well, you put it on, uh, you, you put it on certain uh, jellyfish stings, don't you? What you put it, you put urine on certain jellyfish stings. Really? Mm, Man of War, I think it is. I never had a jellyfish stain, so I don't know that. <laughs> it's not something that I'd, I'd put on your list of things to do. No. In any way, shape, or form. But you learn something new every day when you watch the mail call. Because yes. now you've learned that if you have a jellyfish stain, get somebody to pee on it. Yeah, so you need to always go out in pairs when you're near jellyfish because it's going to be difficult to pee on it yourself unless it's on your legs. Well, now there's another story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's anyway. another story when my children were quite young. I used to say, go out and feed. You know, it's 5 o'clock, go feed. <laughs> so they had, and, and we had this hose arrangement. Where you went down the line and you, you, hmm. you know, Janine was back there with on and she, Janine would turn it on and off and Janine would turn it off and, and Gwen would go to the next bucket <laughs> on and off and on and off and you graduated from the <laughs> on and off to the you know and and then when they were through you put the end way down at the bottom and you went up and you unhooked it here and you put it up over your head and then you walked to the other end yeah so it drained <laughs> and it worked every morning. The only part that get frozen would be the ha would be the the, the nozzle here at the top because yeah. it was one of those you know yeah. the down below. So Janine found that she always carries with her about a half a cup of warm water stuff. <laughs> so she devised this method of pouring the warm water on the faucet to make the faucet work. Mm. Excellent. And it worked fine. It works perfectly. I suggested she use it over there, at Meredith, but. It didn't sell too well. No, I, I, I think, I think that's maybe we'll keep that between ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He did a lot of funny things. Yes. So if we get updates on puppies, we'll let everybody know. Oh, I... Now you've got me saying puppies. I know. <sighs> See how it works. Claudia Bohemia has got some good-looking dogs. Yes. Can Judy go for a wee trip? She could. Mm -hmm. But there's so many complications. There's the... You'd have to fly them out of Frankfurt, probably. Mm -hmm. And to get into Germany from Czech Republic, I don't know is, is that the rabies-free country or whether you have to get the rabies shot X number of days before or after you... You know? Yeah, I know, because we brought our dogs over and because we are rabies-free, we came in... They just the vet product. checked for yeah. other things and then they flew out and arrived. Yeah. Um, but rabies is kind of specific. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I don't know. That's something we could, that's something you could I occupy your time with. I know. So I, I did have all those considerations to make. Yeah. Oh, and then I talked to Sandy. Oh, how's she doing? Sandy thinks maybe she'd buy me a puppy. Oh. To train. For her. For her. Uh-huh. And then I get another puppy. Oh, my God. Is that three puppies now? No. All right. Okay. They're puppies. When they grow up too big, I give them somebody else. I would, <laughs> yeah, what, I would be do, what I would be doing is to providing a training facility for these puppies, which would be fine. And then they're, yes. they're, they're, and these the people love them. Yeah. Cute little puppies. Then they get to be, you know, 200-pound monsters, and they're not as cute. Well, I don't know about that. Well, they're not bad. I mean, we, you know, people do like to see those guys come, but they, oh, look at the puppy, you know. I know. And the, and the and enormous yeah. feet and the floppy ears. Right. You know, there's, there's a lot to be said for it. And it, uh, you know, it fits in the, uh, the program. Yes, it does. Oh, and Roger Reed, I'm going about to work out I have no idea how to ban anyone, but I might be banning Roger Reed because she says no puppy for Carlene. She, Who did? Roger Reed, she said, I vote for an elephant. Oh. oh. No, no, puppies are looking really good now, thank you. No, elephants elephants move entire buildings when they don't like it. <laughs> I've told that story. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Poor Mr. Comerford and his $100,000 plumbing bill. Well, that's the only reason we're not getting an elephant. Yeah, well, that, I've, I've been on one once. Oh. They had, they had a couple of up uh, at the Benson's Animal Farm. And I went to the auction and I, I bid on it, but you know. Oh, you lost. Just so I said I could. All right, okay. But you know, I got those wagons that I do, I have a bed on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The track behind whatever's uh -huh. towing it. Uh -huh. Really very nice wagon. I bought those two that day. Oh. So I did buy something. I just didn't buy an elephant. Well, that was your, your bidding on elephant experience, so we don't need another one. That's, That's right. good. I did that. That's done. Covered. And this is actually interesting. Um, Dodie says, when you get an unexpected chill like this morning, she said, maybe it's your blood sugar because it goes low. And I hadn't eaten since about four o'clock yesterday. Really? Yeah, and then I didn't eat again till um, about two today in the afternoon. Huh. So maybe it is low blood sugar. So if I, if I didn't have ice cream, I'll stay warm. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yes. Okay, you're good to go. We actually, um, Janine actually went to the, the auction where Pasta came from was actually on, I'm going to do. Oh, there we go. We're we'll back again. So Janine actually went to the auction where uh, Pasta came from and uh, there were no Great Dane puppies. Oh. So she left that. The Pasta worked out really well. Pasta's super. He's such a nice puppy. He's a beautiful puppy. Yeah. He's on three legs, but that's okay. Yeah, that's well, right. supposed to be four. <coughs> yeah, we do actually, so we actually have looked in, into the rescue route. What's this? Um, for, for dogs, we, we we always look in the rescue route. Yeah, you are, and I... And the problem we actually have is that the Danes, and I've, got, I've had four rescue Danes, they're never puppies. Um, I've never come across a puppy or a litter of puppies in rescue, um, because I think everybody gets them when they're tiny and lovely. Right. And, and super and duper, and then um, they develop legs, slobber, and you name it, and they eat a, a, a massive amount and then poop it out the other end, and then they end up in rescue. And the problem with rescue dogs, now I've got rescue dogs, but we wouldn't um, necessarily put them into your outreach program because I think what we feel very strongly about is you don't know what's happened to the dogs in their previous life <coughs> and what sets them off and little quirks that they may have. That's so, true. My concept with this frying pan is about as trouble free as I think yeah. you're going to get because yeah. if they, you have a cookie in a frying pan and you're rattling that, that dog is going to be concentrating on getting that cookie yeah. and not going to worry about whether somebody's patting him in the head. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so far that has proven, proven. true. Yep. Yeah. And the minute he eats that cookie, Judy wipes the bowl, mm -hmm. she has a washcloth with her, and wipes his mouth yeah, at the same real. time and gives his head a shove and sort of says, get the hell out of here. <laughs> and he's supposed to go back to me. And that's the way we've been working it, and it's working fine. Uh, yes. So, so that's why um, we're, we're kind of stumped in the whole rescue part of it. Um, well, I... I've been avoiding going to rescue because, you know, if I go to rescue, some dog may speak to me, in which case I have to take it, <laughs> whether or not I have a Dane puppy. <laughs> That's actually... I had, I, I had a dog speak to me, and I wanted to get that dog. Which dog was that? This was a long time ago. I was in the movie business still, uh -huh. and this was a long-haired boob Buffon or whatever the words are, French basset hound. Oh, was it hairy? It was hairy. funny. And it was down here in the, in the whatever, and I wanted it, and the woman wouldn't let me take it because I had other dogs. Okay, so I said, Janine down. I say, Janine, go down there. No, it was Gwen went next. I said, don't tell him you have any other dogs. So Gwen went down. We can try to get it. She couldn't have it because she had a job. <laughs> so I said, okay, Janine. The woman doesn't know us. Then we're related. So Janine goes down and tries to get the basset hound. And Janine couldn't get it because she couldn't get permission from her landlord. Tell and the, the woman wouldn't believe that she owned the place she lived. Uh -huh. They just would not give me that basset hound. That basset hound was not meant to be then. 
I is bullshit. <laughs> I is really mad. Because I am a good home for dog. Yes. <laughs> but I could have used it at that point in my, you know. In your business. Yeah. And then it would have had a job. Yes. And we had, we had uh, Clark and um, Harley out at the weekend on that trail, and they were super. Oh. Clark and Harley, the donkeys. Oh, yeah. They were really super, um, totally sure-footed, went over water, everything. So, sure. um, so that And bridges, they did two bridges as well, so that was good. So uh, they're doing well. So what we need to do is we need to start getting um, another donkey out. So I need another person, really. We need to find the hitch for my car, which I need to have gone away. Oh, don't you? Do you know I got into trouble yesterday from Nick because his three-ball hitch had, had gone missing. His three ball hitch. His three ball hitch. Okay, so my three ball hitch is missing also. Yeah. Well, what are we doing with three ball hitches? So I don't I know. A, I, I think Jean may have something I to do with. I was in very big trouble. Well, um, I was. I'm pretty damn annoyed because I want to hook up that trailer and and just get into the routine of doing this. Yeah. Without you saying, no, we got to take the big trailer, the little trailer, that, 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 that. I want to get it down perfect. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we need to buy another one and attach it with a locking thing to the car. I We have the locking thing. We, no, I've gone a, that road. All right, okay, did it work? But then we lost the key. We had to take the car apart to get, you know, I mean... It, Say no uh, more. There are some things you have and just don't know. <laughs> if I leave the trailer hooked up to the car, then nobody's going <laughs> to steal it. Well, if they steal it, they're not going to go very far, I can tell you. <laughs> Especially if there's a donkey in the back. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, that donkey trailer can, is divided. I can have dogs on one end and dogs on the other. And chickens in the car. Chickens in the car, <laughs> yeah. You get all those of them. Oh, dear you me. forget that I provided, what, 30 animals mm -hmm. for 30 days at, on Boston Common? At Christmas. Over Christmas? Yeah. In a heated tent? And I had to hire somebody to sleep with them. Because otherwise all the Bostonians would have been eating goats and chickens. <laughs> so I hired this gal who trained attack dogs. Oh! And she slept on my bed that I had the dogs on during the day. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. That's, yeah, and then I had the big trailer back in there. We put the manure in that and cleaned that out once a couple, couple times a week. <laughs> That's also the episode where Janine ended up with a dead donkey in her trail, in her Shh. trunk. The frozen baby donkey. The frozen baby donkey. Look. <laughs> Again? We're having commu no, we're having communication from Ray's. Look. Oh. I think it's the blinking sunshine coming in the win window. So we can't really complain about the window over there. Oh. So the sun's coming in. There's our we're we're also getting captions. Ah, that's fine. That's just the questions coming up. And I'm afraid to say, um, according to Elena. We are not entertaining Jiminy because he's actually snoring away. What How happened? rude. Jiminy is snoring away. He is not listening to your voice. Oh. How ridiculous. Oh. Thank you, Elena. Yes, it's the ammonia in the urine that, that takes the... The ammonia? That takes the, the, um, the sting out of the jellyfish. Oh, yeah. oh. Let me keep ammonia with me, I guess. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's a bit more standard, like, maybe, isn't it? I don't know. No, we don't need a pair of, of reindeer. They're, you know... You know they're reindeer. I've been reindeer. I've gone the reindeer road. But, you know, you see that clicking that their, their joints do in their leg? Yeah. I, actually, it's like, you know how some people don't like the feel of sand on newsprint? That noise, it just sets me on edge. It makes me feel a bit sick. Well, then you better not be around. A reindeer, no. Oh, no. It's a really You old also thing. can't mix reindeers and sheep. Oh. Well, what do they do to the sheep? I don't know, but the sheep carry a germ or something. Oh, that can transfer. for the reindeer. Okay. Because when I had the reindeer in my 30 days in Boston Common, uh, I had to get rid of the sheep first. Clean the place up a little bit so we could take the reindeer oh. up to the oh, state dear. house and have it get loose. Oh, no. You did hear that. Yes. The, the well, antlers come off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> what, when they shed their antlers? Yeah. 
You take them back, people pay for them. Right. And then they, do they not fight and rub all the velvet off? And then they become right, what the dogs like eat. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ava was uh, riding on Meredith, uh, maybe a year or two, or maybe two years ago. And uh, she came walking home, and every time I see her leading that blinking horse back, I think, oh, it's gone badly, this is terrible. Am I going to be patching her up or going to the hospital? And she was walking along, and she had something in her hand, and it was a rat. She, she, she'd been just um, wandering along and found it, so she jumped off. And, and uh, she very sensibly decided not to ride these with these spiky, pokey things in the front of her saddle in case she went forward like that. So that was actually very sensible. I was quite impressed. Okay, shall we go on with yes. a rack of antlers? Yes, go. Cool. There was a rack of antlers, of elk antlers, that Wayne Cashman, uh -huh. hockey, uh -huh. room, gave me whatever. And I was wanting to hang it up in the hallway of this house in Linfield. And I had left it leaning on the wall, going to come along and hook it up. And Janine came down the stairs and she stepped on one of the antlers and the other side of the antler went down <gasps> her throat and it didn't hit anything. That's a miracle. It is a miracle. She's full of miracles. She had, I think it, I think it took out a couple teeth. It oh was a bad goodness. thing. That, but those damn antlers. I, I, yeah, antlers, I don't. Okay, we try not to set these things up, but they happen. Well, that was... That was ooh. a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently our cameras have gone down. I'll have to speak to Nick. No idea what goes on with cameras. Oh, apparently plain ammonia is good for bug bites. Oh, good. There we go. So we'll all be smelling a bit funky, but uh, not scratching. So I think it looks like we have answered all the questions and apparently the reception is very poor, so I can only apologize. Tomorrow's Tuesday, are we doing anything tomorrow? Oh yeah, we're going somewhere tomorrow. Something that's got park after it. Park? Yeah. Okay. Excellent, so we will see we'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, that's, a, that's another job. Oh, we're just waiting for the Meals on Wheels. That's right. Excellent, very exciting. That's right. <laughs> see you tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.